Hi, good morning, everybody. I thought I'd just pop on and say just a quick hello as it's 11 o'clock. Um, we're just waiting for a few more people to join. So if you just bear with us for a couple more minutes, um, we'll get underway, hopefully around 11.02 when a few more people have, have joined us. So I'm just gonna pop my video off, put myself back on mute, and I'll be back with you to get things underway in two minutes. So hello again, we've now got a few more people um, joined us. So I think that we can um, get our session this morning underway. So good morning and welcome to SLC's Connect webinar with Caravan Travel. Caravan Travel are specialist destination management company um, specializing in Turkey. And I'm joined today by Joskin. Um, he'll be popping his video on in just a second to say hello to you. Joskin is um, director of Caravan Travel and he will be um, talking us through a nine day, eight night itinerary um, all about Turkey. Um, and then we'll follow that up with um, a Q&A session. Um, we've got some questions prepared to ask just because he can tell you some more about caravan travel and why you should be booking your clients um, through them for your Turkish itineraries. Um, so just a little bit of housekeeping before we get underway. Um, we would ask that you keep your microphones on mute, please. Um, if you do have a, a question um, or something that you want to ask at any point, then please do type it into the chat function. And um, if we've got time, we'll of course come back and answer it at the end if not we'll come back to you on email um, we are going to be running some polls um, so do please feel free feel free to interact with these um, and we'll also give you the results of those polls um, please do keep uh, listening to the end we have got um, a download code for a free rough guide of turkey that we'll share with you via email for everyone who does make it through to the end of our presentation um, so just so we can start, just gonna you are you there so we can just say a quick hello to you? Do you want to pop your video on and, and unmute? Here he comes Justin. Hi, Justin. Hi. Hello there. Do you want to hello. pop your video on? So this is Justin. Um he um, is director can... of Caravan Travel. And he'll be taking you through the presentation uh... today. Deborah, thank you very much, but I cannot open my video. Oh. I mean, uh, probably Sharon has stopped. Okay, no problem at all. Well, we'll just, we'll carry on and um, we'll just go to the poll questions and then we'll get stuck into the presentation. So you should see coming up on your screen, everybody, um, some polls. Could you just let us know um, if you've been to Turkey on holiday, if you've sold a holiday to Turkey within the last 12, mi 12 months, um, 
And if you've booked any clients through our DMC partner, um, who's with us today, Caravan Travel. I'll just give you a few moments to vote on that. And see, Justin's got his video on now as well, so we'll be able to say hello to yeah. Justin. Okay. Hello, everybody. So just seeing the results of the polls just on the screen. So yeah, 78% of you have been to the fabulous um, country of Turkey. 22% um, of you have sold Turkey in the last 12 months. And oh, we've got somebody online who's booked a holiday through Caravan. So that's fabulous. Thank you very much for, for letting us know that. So this is Joskin. Um, he's doing just some video. Good morning, everybody. My name is Joskin. I'm from Caravan Travel. I am director of Caravan Travel and I will be giving you information about our company and a sample tour of Turkey. Great. So I think um, we're probably ready, just gonna if you are, to um, start sharing the presentation and you can take us on the fabulous nine day itinerary to yes. tell everybody about the sights and sounds of Turkey. Yes, with pleasure. So the two, I mean, this is a sample tour of Turkey which is uh, nine days, eight nights. But as you probably know, then, I mean, Turkey has a lot to offer and depending the tide limit uh, and also thanks for the advantage of the Turkish Airlines flight frequency, then we can uh, use domestic flights between the cities and then we can uh, see most of the places using the domestic flights in four or five days. But this is a sample coach to write in race, starting from Istanbul and ending in Cappadocia. And then we are using a flight from Cappadocia back to Istanbul and then it's connection flight back to UK, I would say. So the tour detail is, day one is Istanbul, arrive in Istanbul. Then once we arrive in Istanbul, our guide will meet you at the airport holding a sign, welcoming you at the airport, and then private transfer to the vehicle. And uh, then it will be 45 minutes drive from the new airport. Actually, we have two airports. One is uh, in the Asian part of the city. The other one is the new airport and the European part of the city. Both of them uh, is around 45, 50 kilometers to the city center of Istanbul. So the, the transfer time from both airport is around 45, 50 minutes. So during the transfer, our guide will give you information about the city and the art and the tour itinerary. And also on the way to the hotel, then we have a welcome gift, which is Turkish blue egg beet. This is a very famous gift in Turkey. And then our guide will be handing this to our valuable guests once they arrive in Istanbul. So once we arrive to the, to the hotel, check-in procedure, and then overnight is free. Or it can be a dinner and overnight at hotel, depending the needs of the group or accommodate needs of the group or uh, booking. So then day two is breakfast. After breakfast is full day tour of the city, which we are going to see most important sites of Istanbul, including Hippodrome, the sporting and social center of Constantinople. And from there, it's a short walk to the Blue Mosque. I mean, uh, visit of Hippodrome, it will take around 20, 25 minutes then just a few minutes walk to Blue Mosque and then our guide will give you explanation about the history of Blue Mosque from the courtyard and then we will enter inside and then he's going to give you some more information about the religion and architectural of the building as well. Then from Blue Mosque, the next stop will be Saint Sophia. Uh, Saint Sophia is a very Saint Sophia is a very, very famous site in Istanbul, which is uh, the original building was built in the sixth century. And in 1930, it is converted is a 
uh, after the conquest of, conquest of Istanbul, it is converted into a mosque. Since 1930, it's a museum. It is the, one of the most beautiful, most interesting museum of Istanbul. From there, after visiting St. Sophia, then it's short walk to Topkapi Palace. Uh, this is the palace of Ottoman sultans, which uh, was the home more than for 500 years. From Topkapi Palace, the next and the last stop is going to be the Grand Bazaar, the biggest shopping mall in Istanbul, shopping hall Istanbul. It is uh, consists around more than 4,000 shops in it. I mean, day two, as you see, it's uh, places that we are visiting. They are all located in the old town of the city. When we say in the old town of the city, they are quite close to the close to each other. So from hotel to the Hippodrome area or Blue Mosque area, we will be going by bus. And then once we are there and then visiting of Hippodrome, St. Sophia, Blue Mosque, Topkapu Palace, then Grand Bazaar will be done by walking. At the end of the tour, then we will go, be going back to our hotel by bus. So day two is again, once we arrive to the hotel, it's free. Either uh, they can have a dinner, at hotel or any restaurant, which we have so many nice options. So day three will be a journey starting from Istanbul to Çanakkale. Çanakkale is uh, around 300 kilometers far from the city. So after breakfast, we start our drive towards to Dardanelles, Sea of Marmara and Gallipoli Peninsula. Then it is uh, around three hours drive. Once we arrive to Gallipoli Peninsula, we visit the uh, Gallipoli battlefield area, including Cape Helles, Sulva Bay, Anzakov, etc. Then after visiting the Gallipoli Peninsula, drive, uh, then we uh, drive, we will have a short drive to port of Çanakkale. Then we take a ferry and then we cross the Dardanelles and we reach our hotel where we have our dinner and overnight stay. So day four, it is from Çanakkale to Izmir. We will be driving along the Aegean coast of Turkey. But uh, on the way to Izmir, we are going to visit uh, first the Troy, the ancient Troy, the ancient world heritage site of Troy. We will see the legendary walls and the replica of the wooden Trojan horse. From there, we will continue our drive down to city, Greek Roman city of Pergamon, which is uh, famous for its uh, Asclepion, the medical center, and Acropolis. Then our visit will be uh, end around 1.30, around 1.30, and then we will be going to a small village close by where we will have a typical lunch at the village houses with the uh, local uh, local people, local families. I mean, once we arrive there, we will be divided, the group will be divided uh, into a small group or five, six people. And then this is a really chance to try the Turkish home cooked meal and get interactive with the locals. After the dinner, after, sorry, after the lunch, then we continue our drive down to Izmir. It will be about one and a half drive, one and a half hour drive. Then once we arrive to Izmir, then we check into our hotel and dinner will be served at the hotel. Then after the dinner, then our guide will take us a short walk along the promenade of Izmir where he is going to offer us a, a typical Turkish coffee, which is very famous in Turkey after lunch or dinner, then you, you always have it. Then dinner and overnight will be at our hotel. The following morning, day five, will be from Izmir to Ephesus, then on to Pamukkale. Altogether, the driving will be three and a half hour, four hours. And, but uh, from Izmir, after breakfast, 
we drive to Ephesus, which is about 45 minutes drive. First, we go and visit house of Virgin Mary, which is believed that she has spent uh, her last year there. Then we short drive down to Ephesus, the ancient city of Ephesus, and the visit of Ephesus, starting from the upper gate to the lower gate, it will last around two hours. We are going to see all important sites and our guide is going to give you the explanation about the history and every single detail we are going to see there. From, uh, while, while we are visiting the Ephesus, before we arrive to Celsus Library, we are also going to visit the rich houses, house of rich Ephesus, terrace houses, it is also called terrace houses. Then the Celsus Library, and then the ancient, the great theater of Ephesus. Then we will walk back to our uh, bus or vehicle, which will take us to uh, our lunch menu. Lunch is a very uh, extraordinary place. We recommend, we suggest, I mean, this can be added into our program or it can be an optional. Lunch is at uh, Yedi Bilgeler, very close to Ephesus, the Seven Segas, Segas Winery. And they get chance to try Turkish food as well as try the local wines along with. From the lunch stop, we will continue our drive to Pamukkale, which is two hours drive. Then once we arrive Pamukkale, we will uh, dine and spend the night at hotel at our hotel in Pamukkale. Day six is from Pamukkale to Konya, which is, I mean, usually this is is a short, uh, cutted version of the itinerary. Usually, uh, some companies do that Pamukkale, Konya, Cappadocia. Some do as we are doing now, Pamukkale, Konya overnight there, and the following day, Konya to Cappadocia which is uh, less tiring compared to drive in one day because from Pamukkale to Konya is around 650 kilometers and is more than 10 hours drive. So uh, day six Pamukkale to Konya, after breakfast in Pamukkale at the hotel, we visit the, he, the ancient city of Hierapolis. Uh, <clears throat> which was uh, the ancient cemetery, which holds the biggest cemetery, ancient cemetery in Anatolia. We are going to visit the Hierapolis as well as we will be, we will get chance to walk on the white Traventans. Then at, after the visit, our guide will give us a, some free time to explore on our road and then we will continue our drive to Konya. Then late afternoon, we will arrive to Konya and we will check into our hotel and we will have dinner and overnight stay in Konya. Then day seven from Konya to Cappadocia, it's a short drive, it's, which is around three hours drive. After breakfast, we visit the Konya Mevlana Museum and then Karatay Medrasa. From there, continue to Cappadocia. On the way, we are going to visit a Sultanan Kervansaray, which was built from 13th century. Once we arrived to Cappadocia, we will check into our hotel and then we will stay. Day eight, it is Cappadocia, pure Cappadocia, full day in Cappadocia. Those of you wish, wish, wish to join uh, Hot Air Balloon Tour. This is available. Balloon Tour starts early in the morning before the sunrise. And then at the end, uh, before the tour, the guests are able to do whole itinerary in Cappadocia. After the balloon tour, usually we return to hotel around 8.30, which they, can, they still have chance to have their breakfast at the hotel. So, 
the full day tour of Cappadocia, we, I mean, the most important, important sites like uh, the Göreme Open Air Museum, the Kaimakli Underground City, and uh, Valleys of Cappadocia. Uh, and Pashaba, uh, Lao Valley, uh, etc. In a one day, we are going to see most important sites in Cappadocia, which will be enough. And during the visit of Cappadocia, during visit of Göreme Open Air Museum, we will be taking you a small, uh, typical rock cave home, Turkish home, where people are living and just to see the Turkish life or just to see their life and get interactive and have a cup of tea or apple tea and to chat with them for a while. The, at the end of our tour, then we will be going back to our hotel. We will have dinner and overnight stay. Then day nine, it's a, a final day, breakfast. And then after breakfast, depending your flight, the, it will be departure transfer from uh, Cappadocia either to Kayseri or Nevşehir Airport to catch your flight to Istanbul, then it will be a connection flight. I mean, I, I can tell you that we have two airports very cl close to uh, Cappadocia region. One is Kayseri, which is 80 kilometers from uh, Cappadocia center, and Nevşehir Airport is the other one, uh, it, which is around 60 kilometers. So uh, Nevşehir Airport takes around 45 minutes. Cappadocia, uh, Kayseri Airport takes around 55 minutes drive. So this is the tour, the sample tour, tour itinerary. Uh, Great. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, Jessica. I think it um, gave us a really good overview of how an itinerary can be put together that can allow clients to see a great deal of, of Turkey and all, all of the main highlights. Um, I just prepared a few questions for you so you can tell us a little bit more about caravan travel. So I know that caravan is a long established business. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the company's history? Of course. The Caravan Travel, Caravan Turkey, is established in 1969. It is one of the oldest travel companies in Turkey with over than 55 years experience in destination management. The company owned by the Baltazi family who own and still run the company. Great. Right. They have, I mean, uh, are, they, they have been hosted, I mean, very important people during uh, 17th century up to now. And these experiences and traditions to the Baltazi family added modern methods and technology to create caravans of today within five distinct brands, which I will be telling you later on. Great, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. I think the the long established and the fact that it's still family run is is a, a real achievement. It is. In, it in is. This day it and is. Age. And, and I know that you also work with many of the main tour operators. Here yes, we are States. working with. Yes, we are working many tour operators like uh, Taylor Tour Operators, especially in the Taylor Made this travel, cultural experience, uh, religious holidays. Uh, FITs, tailor-made itineraries, and some, I mean, everything. Right, thank you. Um, could you talk to maybe go into a little bit more detail about the company's values? Could you tell us a little bit more about values in the business? Of course. By the way, I forget to tell that we are, uh, since 1969, over 55 years experience, we have three own offices in Istanbul, Antalya, and Kushadasa, and we are more than 60 persons like uh, working in the company. And I think the multilingual is, is really important. It we is, it that. is, it is, it is. That's an advantage also, so I forget to tell you that that is also very advantage. 
So our values are reliability, and then as we, as I told you, that with more than 55 years experience and professional professional experiences as a destination management company, we are the one of the oldest travel company in Turkey with a history of providing top class hospitality and some very distinguished guests. This is a family run company that takes pride in offering a very best with an excellent standard of services in every regions of Turkey. We have flexibility, as I told you that we are around 80 multilingual staff takes a positive, flexible approach to all aspects of our work as a company. And we are always striving meet the needs and expectation of our clients. Buying power, I mean, uh, as Caravan Travel, we have uh, four different brands as well, then giving us this, uh, we are using it to buy, uh, to get better rates from our hotels, uh, or our suppliers, even we are try, we are using the guides because we are able to fulfill them almost every day in a year, and then we are we are using the best available buses because, for example, if caravan travel doesn't work through the winter period, then we have our mice department which they are, they are very busy. So then we have a cruise department which as quite busy all year around. Then we have, I mean, short excursions, cruises, port services, etc. Then the next thing, efficiency. Uh, I mean, uh, our three, star, three office across Turkey in the cities of Istanbul, uh, then Antalya and Kuşadası, we are using very latest technology. We, I mean, we are, uh, we have an, an ex experienced staff. They have been working for a long period for us. For example, I, this is my 21st year in the company. And then I can tell you that the new one is been around six to eight years. So this uh, gives us a quite, uh, this is a quite uh, important issue. Then uh, our staff knows what our uh, partners needs, and then we always try to help them as their wish. And then the finally, et ethics is a family-run business, and we take a great pride of the high-quality services. We hope we hope for our partners and clients. Right, that's brilliant. Thank you, thank, thank you very you. much. And I hope that that um, assures everyone listening that uh, Caravan Travel would meet the needs of of your own brand and and back you up as your brand and those values would um, resonate with what you're offering to your your customers and you can have confidence that Caravan will deliver um, across all of those points. You mentioned, um, Jessica, just then, um, some of the different brands that make up Caravan. Caravan is actually quite a large company and the destination yes. management side is, is one part. Can you just share with us the other businesses in the Caravan uh, family? So, I mean, our brands are, I mean, we have four actually, four brands plus one sub brand, which we call it Endless Turkey. Caravan Travel is our main uh, incoming department where we have the accommodation and land services, archaeological and cultural tours, religious tours, offering private and shared bullet cruises, guaranteed departure tours, etc. So then uh, we have a meeting and incentive department, which we call it CAMIS. Then they are organizing meeting, incentives, congresses, events, etc. Caravan Mar is our uh, cruise department. I mean, uh, as Caravan Travel, we are the main agent for the cruise ships that they port, they, they port to Turkey, they call the Turkish ports. 
which we are giving services more than 65% of the cruise ships, they are coming to Turkey as a shore excursion company uh, or uh, local uh, local company, sorry, I forget the four. Then Caravan Cruises is the, we are the general sales of Celestial Cruises. Then major sales cruise companies like Costa Cruises. And Endless Turkey is the sub-brand of Car Caravan Travel. It's more, mainly for FITs and high-end FITs and luxury FITs. Great, thank you very much. So you can see the size of caravan travel there. And um, whilst I don't know what everyone's businesses that are listening in, um, the endless um, Turkey for the higher end and caravan travel are probably the two main points of contact. But if we've got anybody on the line who is looking at sort of incentives and meetings and things like that or cruise, then caravan travel can help with that as well. Sorry, just can I interrupt it? No problem, continue. So, uh... As Arthur Jamnan, then the, the more deeply information about caravan travel is we have three own offices around Turkey, experience team of 60% uh, and unique programs, itineraries combined with history, traditional culture and natural beach, beauty. I mean, this also can be combined with the sea extension as well. So caravan travel, accommodation and land services, hotel bookings, airport port transfers, private regular daily tours, weekend packages, shore excursion, archaeologic cultural tours. We have so many options starting from three going up to 14 days tours around Turkey, every part of Turkey, I would say. Religious tours, we have a range uh, options of tours starting uh, seven churches of revelation up to grand tour of turkey and only uh, even just a short seven churches tour of uh, itinerary from izmir which is around three nights then we have also offer guaranteed departure tours with land and cruise tours and land only tours with minimum two people. We also have a guaranteed departure, great cruise, cruises program uh, with uh, minimum two people from the ports of uh, Fethiye, Marmaris and Bodrum areas. Great. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, that will certainly tell everybody um, more about caravan travel, the size of the business, its values um, and its fantastic reputation, as well as its competitive pricing. Um, but when you were going through the itinerary just a minute ago, um, we had some unique moments and this is yes, a USP for caravan travel. Um, and something that, that you offer that, that other operators won't offer. Could you maybe talk us through what the unique moments are and, and just give us some examples? Yes, these are, I mean, these are very uh, special touches, I would call them. I mean, these are very uh, different things that the, the, the normally that the guests uh, can see in Istanbul. I mean, we have been taking the advice by, the, by our partners and then repeaters that the guests are always coming to Istanbul and then they all see the same thing like Blue Mosque, Hippodrome, St. Sophia, etc. Then, I mean, now what we decided, uh, we decided to offer the tours and with the small touches, like small uh, different uh, additions, like unique moments, we call them. This can be a private visit of St. Sophia, or it can be a local food during the tour, during the tour of or it can be a visit, a local home cooking class in Cappadocia, or it can be a private visit of Ephesus, or it can be a, a private dinner, having a private dinner after hours in Ephesus at, uh, at the Celsius library. 
these are the unique moment experience for the guests who are looking to escape the crowd and try the different things while they are in Turkey. Just to give you some examples what they are, for example, during the visit of full day tour of Istanbul, we visit Grand Bazaar. So uh, during the visit of Grand Bazaar, we offer Turkish coffee at Şark Kahvesi, which is a historical coffee roaster. This is a 500 years old shop located in the Grand Bazaar. Then the other option is that uh, try Turkish baklava at the Karaköy baklava shop, Güllüoğlu baklava shop, which is very famous and which is very well known baklava uh, shop in Turkey since 1950s. Then these are the examples in Istanbul. We also have these sort of examples all around Turkey. Then taste of Turkish delight, well, when you visit Spice Bazaar, or I mean, you always go and visit a mosque with the group, but it's a regular visit that if you really want to visit a private mosque, then it can be done. Then after praying hours, we, you, just exclusive to you, you can go there with your guide and then you met with the uh, imam, I would call, or the priest, the uh, manager of the mosque. Then you get a chance and then you get to know deeply the religion and any question you may have, then you can find the answer. Like whir whirling dervishes, exclusive visit of Saint Sophia, tea time at Pera Palace, calligraphy courses, or even the transfers or tours with vintage cars. These are the some uh, examples of our unique moments portfolio. We, of course, we do have some more options. Then if there is a need, we will be happy to assess. Then going down to Cappadocia, I mean, as I told you, we have a unique moment option almost in every region. So to make it shorter, I also, uh, I just wanted to give you some samples in Istanbul and Cappadocia. We also have uh, options in southern east part of Turkey, Aegean part of Turkey, or central Anatolia. When you are in Cappadocia, you can have a private, uh, not private, sorry, you can uh, have home cooking with the local family in Cappadocia, or dinner at Cappadocia Valley. I mean, this is something different that it can be arranged as a private FITs for a group. It can be dinner, also it can be a breakfast. As I mean, during our program, I mentioned you there, visit a historical cave house in Cappadocia. These are the some examples of our unique moments. Great, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. And I think it really shows how Caravan um, can enable your clients to really get under the skin of Turkey and, and see things that they wouldn't see um, otherwise. And, and these, as, as Justin just said, are, are unique things that Caravan Travel have put together and, and negotiated and can include. Um, so I think what all you need to do is to tell Justin um, what it is that your clients are looking to do, and then he can put together a bespoke itinerary, including those unique moments um, according to what they're interested in. Um, there's a huge focus on um, eating local cuisine and, and understanding the culture of different countries at the moment and just can you put together a new experience that that focuses very much on that called be local eat local can you again yes. give us a bit more yes. information on this yeah be local eat local is which is our new uh, creation i would say uh, this is a new way of serving to the guests so i mean uh, As I told you before, that we always aim to show. One second. I lost it. Yeah, as, as caravan travel, we always aim at showing our guests what Tur Turkish cuisine is and what Turkish cuisine could offer, like a local. Then, We take this seriously and it's been searching and 
we have prepared this be local, eat local thing, which can be added our itineraries during the tour. I mean, this, the eat, be local, eat local, they are small touches, like, I mean, uh, how the Turkish people, they are eating during their daily life. For example, one example is the simit, which is very well known uh, food or the delicacies in Turkey. It's, I mean, everybody, every corner of Turkey that you see as simit sellers through the day, even at night, this is a very famous, uh, like roll bread, I will call it. Uh, then then the, it is good to eat it with the cheese. Then the other one is börek, which is uh, pastry with cheese. Lahmacun, what we call it, is a tin pizza. I mean, but it's a Turkish way of pizza, which is, I mean, including herbs, vegetables, onions, tomatoes in, in it. Then we have doner, which doner kebab you can find almost everywhere. It's a typical meat, uh, or I mean, you can find a chicken one as well. And then dolma is a stuffed wine or cabbage leaves. Balık ekmek, fish and bread. I mean, it is very typical, especially for Istanbul. If you are around a Minnesota Spice Bazaar area, you can always feel the smell. There are boats that they are uh, selling uh, bread and fish in it. Then the other Stantoni Chi Köfte, which is a raw meatball. It can, um, it, it's, you can find, uh, these are, I mean, you can find cheek of the especially southern part of Turkey, southern eastern part of Turkey. Tantuni is also another example of different region. Can be found in the Mersin area, like southern, uh, Mediterranean area of Turkey. These are the some ex ex examples which we create during the, our itineraries, and we can always add, or we can always give you this option to add any of these to your itinerary. Right, that's brilliant. So I think that, again, it shows the flexibility that Caravan Travel has got. So if you have a particular client who's particularly foodie and, and the food is of real importance, and as Justin just said, the itinerary can be put together that includes opportunities for them to sample all these different cuisines and then probably include cookery classes or cookery demonstrations as, as well so that people can really get under the skin um, of what it's like to um, eat like a local. Um, the, the final, um, and we're just kind of approaching the end of this part of the Q&A, but I just wanted you to be able to touch on your award-winning tour at Ephesus because I, I think this is something that looks absolutely fantastic. So could you just tell us a little bit about the 3D animation that you've got as a tour? Yes. Yeah, the ancient Ephesus travel through time. Uh, this is a award-winning signature tour, which we are proud, proud to have it. And we are the, I mean, I'm happy to say that we are the only DMC in Turkey that can offer this tour. And this is, I mean, during a uh, visit of Ephesus, uh, you get chance to see the ancient Ephesus, how it was in the past. And you get chance to compare today Ephesus and like thousand years ago. So, I mean, our guide will explain you the Ephesus. Then we have the, you will have the 3D glasses. You have 3D glasses. And during, for example, starting from the sites, you will see today's and how it was in the past. 
this will not delay you. Usually the FSS, it will take around two hours. With the 3D glasses, the time will be two hours and 15 minutes. But you spend extra 15 minutes, but at the end that you get the advantage and then you see the ancient Ephesus, how it was in the past. And the, we are very proud to offer this tour to our partners. I just think it looks absolutely fantastic. The idea of going to such an ancient site and putting on 3D glasses and having it come alive and being able yes. to see the way that the people were actually living at that time. I just think it must be so powerful. It is really, I mean, you should come and see. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. do, do we have a little bit more on that? Yeah, I think just to show yeah, it you. Is, I mean, it's just showing the uh, sample of the, the map of FSS starting from the upper gate and where the stops are, Odeon, Trajan Fountain, and Grand Theater, Celsius Library, Terrace House, Agora, and we will have, we will be seeing five important stops during our visit. Great. Sorry, 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 for not five, it's 10. It was five, but it's upgrade to 10. Great, brilliant. Thank you very much, Juskin. Um, pleasure than any question, anything else, we are always here to assess. Great. So that concludes our tour of Turkey today with, with Caravan Travel. And we really hope that you found that useful in terms of the sort of itinerary, a standard itinerary you could put together, but also that um, Juskin has shared enough to um, give you confidence that Caravan is a very professional um, business with many USPs that could handle everything from your luxury business to your FIT business to people looking for something specialist. Um, Turkey has got so much history, so many historical sites to, to visit, but also as Juskin's brought to life for us, a lot of um, local culture um, that can be seen and, and many fun things that can be done there. Um, so we really hope that that has helped you. We have got a final poll um, that we were just going to share with you. Um, if you could just let us know if you feel more confident in booking Turkey now that you've heard more about um, the destination and caravan travel, we'd be really grateful. Um, Turkey was one of the 25 countries on the UK government's um, green list, so safe to visit. Um, and I know that Juskin and, and all of his colleagues in the travel trade over there in Turkey would be really um, delighted to welcome your guests um, to Turkey. Um, Wow, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. 100% people will feel more confident. That's really good news. Um, on your screen now is our contact details. So Justin's contact details and also my contact details. SLC represent um, Caravan Travel here in the UK. So you can either contact Justin directly or come via myself. Um, in, and I, I can obviously uh, liaise with Justin to get you the information that you need in order to complete the bookings. We're here to support you. We're really happy to put together itineraries and costumes and quotations that will help you get, get that, that business secured. Um, we will have all of your details, so I will follow up with an email um, following this call. It will obviously have the, um, the rough guide link in so you can download your free copy copy but I'll also send you through some further information on Caravan and, and make sure that those contacts are included so that you can get in touch with us. Um, I've just got Sharon on the line. I, I don't know whether there were any questions that came in at all. Um, Sharon's doing our technical support today. So were there any specific questions that came in Sharon? Okay, I don't think there were. So um, thank you very, very much. Thank you everyone for joining us. As I said, I will be in touch. So if you've got any questions, feel free to email them across to me. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Justin. Thank you very much for your time too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.